What is up, my dude? So welcome back to another No Man's Sky. Holy shit! No Man's Sky Planet review, and uh, I know it's been a minute, but I'm back. So I'm also playing on a brand new monitor that I've never played on before. So <laughs> some of these settings, I don't really know what the hell I'm actually doing here with it, but. Dude, I don't know if it's actually recording this, but oh my god, yellow, green, mellow, yellow, what the fuck are these colors? Holy shit, I don't know if this is just the game, or if this is like the monitor putting off this color ratio here, but god dang, that is extreme. Like, wowzers, dude. I can't even tell what this, the color of this planet because of how freaking green and yellow this is. I don't know what is going on right now. Okay, so now I can actually see the color a little bit. Let's fly the fuck down here before we get slayed. Okay. Looks like another bit of a maybe hot style planet. They really need to, in this game, fix their standardization within, like, what a hot planet is and a cold planet and a and a tropical planet and whatever. They really need to fix that sort of, like... Uh, let me see how to explain that. That sort of um, classification, because it makes it makes the planet so much more basic whenever you just have a, a super simplistic classification system to it, you know? They need to make it to where it's just kind of like you could show up on a, a desert planet, but it wouldn't be a hot planet, if that makes any sense. Like, completely random... Like, you could show up on a desert planet, but it's like a dune planet, not a not an actual, like, western desert planet. Um, kind of hard to explain that, but well, let's see what we got here anyways. So, uh, yeah, this monitor is legit. Okay, got us one of those little Ewok dudeskis. Well, so, uh, seen one pretty close to that before. So, what the hell are these green balls, gravity balls, that are shining like a diamond? Holy nut. I guess, dang, dude, this monitor puts off some crazy, like, that was so bright I couldn't even see anything on my screen at all. Okay, flying creatures. What do these guys look like? Kind of looks a little bit like that standard bat model. Man, that is something that they've got super repetitive as well is that bat, that, like, bat bird model. That one looks definitely a little bit different from what I've seen before, but, um, name this dude, Mellow, <laughs> Mellow Yellow, <laughs> Mellow Yellow Bird, uh, Mellow, Mellow, Yell, Yeller, Mellow Yeller, Mellow Yeller. There we go, dude. Hope I don't get shit on by a mellow yeller here in a little bit. <laughs> but, um... Okay, see, I don't... It's been a minute since I've played. I don't know what, like, little updates they've put into the game. I'm not really sure. Man, just, like, some of these little additions to their, like, grass billboard, whatever you want to call these little things, um, they look way better than they did at the beginning of No Man's Sky, and it, it does definitely makes a big difference on just every little aspect of it. I like these little cactus plants right here, but this game has the potential. Like that right there, I've never seen a cactus plant look quite like that. I mean, how interesting can a cactus get, but still, it's so cool to see something different like this. So, cac ti yeah. Whoops. cac -tiga. I don't even fucking know. It's probably a cuss word in Spanish, but that's okay. Um, oh, shit, my balls. Got this little dude on me here. Okay. Um, so, I think if I pick up these fucking shining balls of light, I know I've picked these up before on some planets way back in the day. I can't really remember how, um, how crazy the Sentinels and whatnot gets when you do that, but uh, let's see. I want to discover this thing over here that thing. I'm about to have to kill this guy before he kills me. Let me just, let me slay him real quick. He's not too, too dangerous, too bad, but I was wanting to get a good look at this guy, so I didn't want him to get eaten. This dude's kind of like an anteater on his head. You guys notice that? That's kind of cool. I like how they've got that sort of model in the game. He's trying to constantly run from me. 
Can't really get a decent look at him. Look at that thing. That's actually a really cool creature right there. Never seen one quite like that. Ant. Ant. Z. T. Ant Zeta. Sure. Call my Ant Zeta. <laughs> but, uh, oh god. Okay. Oh, oh. Alrighty then. Well, yeah, I can't wait till the next update for this game. I think they're really going to focus on um, a lot of variation and stuff. I know some of my original variation No Man's Sky videos, I thought they would never get any views. But that one, that, um, can't remember, what did I actually name that? I, th I said the variation has improved or whatever. That No Man's Sky video's got like, uh, like 15,000 views or something like that. I could be off on that, but it's up in the tens of thousands of views and uh, that's pretty crazy for a YouTuber my size, um, just on some random No Man's Sky video. So there's a chance that Hello Games actually saw that video um, at that size. And I know in my video I was like, oh, Sean Murray will never watch this. But, I mean, no joke, like there's a pretty good chance he might have came across that video because it's decent. It's definitely done decent view count wise. So, And I think everybody's kind of coming to that conclusion of we just need more variation. That's the that's the simplistic uh, sort of fix to the game. We just need more variation. And that's kind of... I think we can all agree on that. But, like, what I was trying to say, though, is the potential in this game right here is seriously probably more than any other game out there, period. Still to this day. Um, all they have to do is just add more content. That's all there is to it now. They have the... The system's working correct. They have, other than multiplayer, I should say, um, but like just the way you get around the planets and you fly and you do this and you do that, all that simple mechanic stuff works pretty well. It's just there's not enough stuff in the game yet. There's not enough actual content, like different creature types, um, not enough variation in that, not enough variation in the size of plants and rocks and and mountains and oceans and big underwater ocean creatures and darker planets and and you know all of that they they need to add uh would just i think that's the biggest thing they need to focus on i really do and i think they've heard from the community that's really what we all want um this dude's pretty huge he looks cool though i like his head we'll name him cool cool dome Cool Dome Ra. Cool, cool Domra. That'll work. Okay, let's see. I'm just kind of floating around this planet a little bit. Um, but yeah, the next update should be pretty soon. Like, um, if I'm not mistaken, should be in the July region. Um, July, August, something like that region. So, we'll just have to wait and see, but I think this next update that they're going to put out, it's going to be like, it's going to make a big difference. A lot bigger of a difference than just the, you know, base building and vehicles. It's going to be a big, it's going to be a big change. I think they've really figured out now. See, they've kind of gotten over that aspect of, okay, let's put in all these blockbuster features like, uh, base building, you know, you can build a base now, and then vehicles, you can drive in vehicles now. Well, now it's kind of like, okay, they put both of those big blockbuster things in. Now it's like, okay, let's actually improve the the variation and the the things that aren't so much blockbustery, but like are really critical to making the game better. If that makes any sense, stuff like that, I feel like is what they really have the time to focus on now. So I'm just hoping. I'm not saying. That's for sure what they're doing, but I know a lot of people have talked about that, and I know some people saw my variation video um, and probably spread the word on that, and and shout out to all you dudes for doing that. Um, it's awesome. I mean, you have to speak up about the things you want in a game, but like, I can definitely see how people would get bored of this game, no doubt. I really can, and even though it is my kind of game, the ver the lack of variation in places and areas is what what kind of steers me a different direction from it. So if they just simplistically added more stuff, more variation in the creatures, plants, all that kind of stuff, um, I mean, I'm telling you, like, no joke, I would probably never stop playing this game. If it had the sort of variation that I thought it was going to have from the very beginning, like basically just, you know, the most crazy creature 
humongous underwater creatures and the the things you could never imagine and and just like every time you go to a planet it's like a whole new experience you know crazy different better biomes that's another drastic thing they need to improve on um it's just more types of biomes like actual ice planets not just snow planets um straight up woodland planets running rivers and i know all that stuff is probably more difficult to put into the game than we even realize simply because this game is all made off of actual formulas. None of it is just like thrown into the game and then that's it. It's all sort of like everything works around each other. So they have to, I think it takes them a lot longer to actually put some of these features in because it has to be able to know what's around it in the world and actually function like that to be on quintillion planets. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's got to actually be able to do that to function properly. So, um, but yeah, I mean, if it had the right amount of variation, like I was thinking it was going to have, um, it just, I mean, no joke. Like I would, I would seriously never stop playing this game. Um, and, and they can just always continue to add more and more and more and more, but then it's, how do they get their money? And then how do you know all these other questions come up and I don't really know um, at that point. But I think if, as long as they get their variation in there, they'll be pretty good off the bat. But OK, God dang it. Math equations. Um, well, it would have to be more, wouldn't it? Since the first to third one is more. I could be a fool, but let's see here. Cha-ching. That was a pretty easy one. That was kind of first grade level right there. I just used like street smarts to figure that one out. <laughs> I didn't even actually do any math at all. Um, just realizing like my choices and like which ones it couldn't be. I figured that one out pretty easily. Okay, that's a ruin. Let's go pop over there to that bad boy. Oh, can't go out this door. Um, but yeah, I mean, no joke, like, don't get me wrong, I know it can seem like I don't play this game just a ton anymore, but I still have just as much love for it and hope for it that I had at the very beginning that I had from the very first trailers. I still hope it can become that game eventually. I really do, and I think a lot of people still do. Like, Hello Games needs to realize that we are all still waiting on that game. <laughs> we all still want that game, something fierce. Let me pick up these gravity balls. Let me get my balls real quick, boys. There's a bunch of smaller ones. I don't really know. Oh, my. Oh, fuck me. Inventory. Shit, I think the damn... No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> that was just the lighting. Um, carbon, fuck you. Uh, God. And please add more, like, um, the exosuit inventory, we need to make it to where we can have, like, like, backpack, extra backpack pods or something within the exosuit inventory, like, where you basically... Like, you, you take up one inventory slot of a, with a backpack, and it's got, like, however many more inventory slots within that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you'd actually have to craft that backpack, and you could put that many backpacks on you. Um, they need to make that, and then, basically, I, I feel like the exosuit itself should have literally double the amount of uh, inventory opportunities as the current one right here. So this one, I did actually get the thing that lets you... Um, breathe underwater for an extended period of time but i don't have anything to fuel it right this second um but if we get on a water planet i'll make sure and have the right materials god i'm already getting lost as far as like what the hell i'm doing here what was i doing oh yeah i was trying to clear out some crap okay okay let's see so can i transfer that's good platinum ain't really gotta have that See if we can run up in here and grab these balls right quick. I know the dudes are going to be on my ass. It's hard to even see. Oh, well. Okay. I'm just grabbing and going, grabbing and going, grabbing and going. Inventory full. Okay. We, we have got to go now. Oh, I've never even seen one of those before. Oh, that's pretty sick, dude. I've never even seen that little dog walker. That is cool. Wow. Okay. Never seen it before. And they're, they're going to have to figure out some sort of system where the sentinels themselves can chase you down in the air and actually shoot you down in your ship. 
like and it needs to be seamlessly going from ground to air ground to air combat because it's kind of silly how you can just you know pull in somewhere pick up your grav gravitino balls or whatever those things are and then hop back in your ship and they can't touch you same way with the actual vehicles in this game there needs to be more and that needs to be in the standard mode of uh no Man's Sky. I'm not even talking about the, like, survival mode or anything. I'm talking about the fucking straight-up standard mode. It needs to be like that. Because it's it's kind of silly how you can just hop in your vehicle and, like, you're, you're fine, you know? It's like an invincibility cheat all of a sudden. Um, they, I really thought they would have had that kind of stuff figured out in the game. But, um, at least for the ship, like, I was expecting there to be a lot of in-air to to in planet seamlessly combat you know working together um i was really thinking it would have been like that but let's check out this ruin real quick and then we'll wrap this review up the planet overall though i mean it is more of a uh, kind of like simplistic basic style uh, as far as just there's not really any water not any crazy mountain formations i mean it's just kind of i mean it's it's okay it's got that desert woodland look i mean not woodland but desert um cactus style uh look to it so it's okay but uh not the most amazing thing i've ever seen by far um man i just love water planets in this game I, there's just something about them dude they're just amazing that's like one of their best biomes i feel like is just is just water planets in general just seem to have so much more to do on them and everything pretty much but you just got to keep an open mind i know it's hard to do with a game like this after they did everything that they did but you just have to keep an open mind in the sense of think about what it could be you know think about what they have so far and think about what it could be that's kind of you really do always have to think like that god dang my what is going on here why can i not shoot what the fuck? So you can't shoot in a ruin? That's weird. They can't shoot either. Like, they can't shoot at you when you're in a ruin. Huh. That's an interesting little game mechanic that I didn't uh, currently realize that happens there. That is really cool. I actually did not know... Hmm. Never had that happen to where, like, a sentinel was on me in a ruin before. I've really not been to that many different ruins and stuff um okay this is gonna give me uh seek help with language and i'm just always coming up with stuff of that i want to see in this game I, I know i came out with that video of like uh future update hopes and stuff and and i mean another thing that comes to my mind i know i'm always talking about things they could add to this game but another thing is like you know how when you get to the center of the galaxy, then you go to another galaxy, which I already pretty much knew that's the way it was going to be from the way beginning before the game came out. <laughs> I already knew that's how it was going to be. But, um, like, they need to make it to where there's a way higher chance of having, like, cooler, more dense life and stuff like that, weirder creatures, and it, it needs to be, like, where on your first galaxy everything's a little more bare and basic i mean there's still a chance to find like really cool planets but it's not nowhere near as likely as when you get start going through the galaxies and, and if let's just say you get to the 10th galaxy then there may be crazy creatures on every single planet you go to you know what i mean it'd be cool to see like a variation of that and kind of at least some sort of reason to continue to go to more and more galaxies more so than just like, oh, you're you're at another galaxy. Cool. <laughs> you know? That it would be cool if they actually adjusted the ratios of their their actual like the quote unquote cool level of the planet. They change the ratios for within which galaxy you're in. Um like you know, maybe like have it where it's like one in a hundred chance to find a really, really cool planet in the first galaxy. And then by the time you get to the 10th galaxy, it's like a one in 10 planet chance or something. That'd be kind of cool. Um, some kind of ratio like that would be sick. But uh, yeah, this planet right here, um, it's okay. Definitely seen better. Uh, there's a little cave system down here. Is it hot? I forgot what this planet actually was. I think it is. I think it's like... Or what is it? I don't know. It's a dry gust. Um, and the sentinels are hostile. So, I don't think it's necessarily hot, hot. But, oh, and fixing their cave. Oh, my word. That's like drastically needs fixed. 
I'm surprised they didn't fix that like before the first update came out. I'm surprised they even released the game with the caves like they were. I guess they just totally ran out of time on it or resources or something. Probably not resources, but you know what I'm saying? Like, um, it had to have been like that to some degree. Uh, let's see. I don't really need this Feridium that bad right now. Let's transfer all of these. Now, the Gravitino Ball things, I, um, it's kind of weird. Like, there were smaller ones and larger ones. I don't know if the, you have to pick up, I don't know how that works. But I was, like, trying to pick up the biggest ones, and that's all I could really do. See, this guy right here, see how he just killed that? But he's not attacking me. It's almost like he's a, he's a, like a carnivore, but not hostile carnivore. So, huh. That's interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen a creature quite with that uh, personality trait there. Um, but, yeah, I mean, and I'm just picturing, like, humongous tremor snake creatures coming in and out of the ground. Humongous dragon creatures shooting flames down at you. I mean, the potential is just, it's unreal for this game when you really start to think about it. Like, it, it just is, and all they have to do is add it. Like, it's not like they have to build a whole game. The game's right there. They just have to add the content. So, anyways, I'm going to give this planet right here... Uh, it's pretty basic. It's pretty standard. I'm going to give it right down the middle, five overall. Nothing crazy interesting. Creatures, are, it does have creatures, and they're okay looking, but nothing's just super cool, wild. Oh, now he's attacking me at nighttime. Is that just... Am I just thinking that, or... Oh, shit. Am I just... God. Okay, so I get attacked, and then the Sentinels attack me. <laughs> All right, that makes a lot of sense, but, uh... He's a temperament. He's a hunter, so apparently... I don't... All I'm saying is he wasn't touching me during the day, but as soon as it turned night, he came to slay. And I think that's, like, an actual feature in there. Some of them try to kill you at night, but not in the day. Um... But either way, so yeah, five overall, and I would say the difficulty is probably hard because you got those crazy sentinels, and there are some creatures that can attack you on this planet. So either way, appreciate you guys watching all the videos. Later, dudes.